हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी वॉइस वॉइस मीन्स हेयर एक्टिव वॉइस एंड पैसिव वॉइस इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो अबाउट द रूट ऑफ ग्रामर एंड वन ऑफ देम इज दिस टॉपिक द वॉइस इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी एक्टिव वॉइस एंड पैसिव वॉइस बेसिकली नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू यूज हेयर वाइट बोर्ड voice active voice and passive voice now what is the meaning of active voice and what is passive voice active voice means in which subject is dominant and in passive voice object is dominant in a very simple way we can say or in very simple words we can say in active voice subject matters a lot in passive voice object matters even in other words we can say in active voice who performs matters more and in passive voice what is performed that matters okay now in this chapter how many tenses are covered up it means how many tenses are used dear students only eight tenses are to be used in this topic active voice and passive voice so note number here only eight tenses are to be used in passive voice they are number 1 simple present tense dear students this simple present tense is also known as present indefinite tense number 2 simple past tense number 3 simple future tense number 4 present continuous tense dear students this present continuous tense is also known as present progressive tense okay and number 5 is past continuous tense which is also known as past progressive tense and number 6 perfect tense and number 7 past perfect tense and number 8 future perfect tense so dear students uh, these tenses are to be used in passive voice now another note note number 2 how many tenses are not to be used in this topic active voice and passive voice so dear students i would like to tell you only four kinds of tenses are not to be used here so let me write note number 2 
four tenses are not to be used in passive voice. They are number one present perfect continuous tense number two past perfect continuous tense number three future perfect continuous tense number four future continuous tense according to grammarians these four kinds of tenses are not to be used in passive voice so this is the basic now another basic of passive voice is some common things some common things are to be used they are first subject subject means here agent or doer okay so this is to be changed into object and object into subject this process happens in all these eight kinds of tenses so, dear students, you have to remember, you have to keep in your mind that subject is to be changed into object and object into subject. So, this will happen in all tenses. All tenses means that simple present tense, simple past tense, simple future tense, present continuous tense, past continuous tense, present perfect tense, past perfect tense and future perfect tense. I think you have got it. Now let us begin further. Now let us take first sentence, uh, first uh, tense, simple present tense. Okay. Now let me clean the board. I think, uh, hope so, you have written. Yes, number one. Simple present tense. Okay. So, dear students, as I have said that in all tenses of eight kinds in passive voice, subject into object and object into subject, uh, this rule is to be followed. Okay. So, the first rule, number one, affirmative. Affirmative is also known as positive. Okay. The rule is here. I would like to here add some abbreviations. S for subject and O for object and V for verb. So, first of all, subject. It means which subject that has been taken from object. So, in order to remember, we can write O, O for object in bracket. Then, according to number, number of subject which is made from object, we have to apply, we have to use linking verbs which are also known as helping verbs, auxiliary verbs, okay. So, is, am, are, these are helping verbs which are to be used over here according to number of subject. Now, subject means that if subject, it means doer or isn't, is singular, so is to be applied. If subject is I, the first person's pronoun, so I am and with plural subjects are. 
after that v3 v3 means here third form of the main verb it means past participle okay this v3 third form of the main verb is also known as past participle okay after that preposition dear students generally by preposition is to be used in passive voice but according to sense even at in to with also to be used after that object 